right, so good morning. Um, I had a question about this problem uh, from section 6.5, I believe it's number seven, where you're asked, um, given a side-side angle set of information, you're asked to find all the possible triangles. Um, and so the student that asked um, had this set of uh, sides, 35, 48 for A and C, and the, the angle 35 degrees for A. Um, and this is in the law of sines section. So right away, what you want to do is you want to set up that law of sines ratio equality. Um, for me, I picked angle C uh, because it's opposite the side that's known, 48. We don't know anything about sides B um, or the angle B. Um, when you go ahead and rearrange this, you find that sine of C is 48 times sine of 35 over 35, taking the inverse of that uh, using some calculator. I just used, I just used a Google calculator. Um, this, this inside argument is approximately 0.786619. Um, so taking the sine inverse, you get 51.87. Now here's the, here's the step of confusion. So if we think about where we're at in the problem, we've got one angle that's fixed at 35 degrees. And we've just now seen that this angle here, C, is about 51.9. Now at this stage, do we have any contradictions with, with sort of properties of the triangle? Um, do all of the angles add up to 180 or more than 180 if we're looking for a contradiction? And the answer is no. All right, so we've, we've only got like some unknown angle B, which could be as little or as much as we as we want, right? And side length B also is not fixed yet, so we don't know how long it is. Um, so is it possible that there's a, a third angle B? Well, the answer is yes. So we take 180 and we take away these two angles, 51.9, and the 35. And what does that give us? That gives us, um, if I did this math correctly earlier, that gives us possibly 128.1. Okay, so if, um, if we have this angle, 51 degrees and this one 35, well then angle C must be 100 or angle B must be 128.1. Okay, that's that's entirely possible to have those three angles. Um, we didn't get a negative angle measure for this angle B so that that's entirely possible. So now the next question is, is there a different triangle that we can construct using 51.9's alternative from the law of sines? Can we make a similar triangle without contradictions? So first, to understand that, we go to this, this number 0.786619. Um, we remember that the law of sines is working with sines, obviously, and so we're working with heights. So if I am in the unit circle here, this height is that 0.79. And the angle that we found here was the 51.9 degrees. But there's another angle which has that exact same sine value. And that angle is 180 minus 51.9. Okay, and did I, I think I did the math wrong here. I definitely did the math wrong here. I was looking at the wrong number. This is the, that should have jumped out at me. This is the 128.1. And this one is, um, yeah, this one is the 93.1. Sorry, I was referencing my wrong angle. Okay, so this one is the 93.1. We take 180 minus these two, we get that. No contradiction there. That's totally allowed because um, this is not a negative angle in the interior sum. If we then go to the law of sines and we look at possible other angles for C, because this is where we, this is what we got from the inverse sine. 
um, and we go to this height 0.79, we see there's the 51.9 angle, and there's this other angle 128.1. Because both of those have that same value. And how do you get that? You take 180 minus 51.9. Um, I don't have the ability to pause or anything. Okay. Um, so, um, so now we ask ourselves, is it possible to have another triangle where angle C is not 120, uh, not 51.9, but it's 128.1. And we do the same game where we take 180, we subtract 51 point, not, excuse me, 128.1. And we subtract the 35 degree angle as well. Is that a positive angle? Because if it's a positive angle, that means we can force angle B to be that angle, right? Because angle B is not still not known the, and side B is not known. So they can, in a sense, like grow or shrink uh, as we see fit, if you will. If side length B was fixed, well then angle B would, would be fixed already by this point. Um, or if angle B were fixed, side length B would be fixed already in the other direction. But because we don't know either, this, this triangle has the ability to sort of widen out um, or, to, or to slim down, uh, depending on what that inverse is for the, uh, for the angle C. Now here we see that this is the, um, this is about 17 point, excuse me, this is about 16.9. Okay, so this gives us two options for angle B, um, and it's not just it's not just subtraction from 180. You need to make sure that all three angles of the triangle uh, match together to be something less than 180 degrees. Uh, sorry, something equal to 180 degrees. Um, uh, right, you're not just taking angle C minus 100 or subtracting from 180 angle C. Okay. It's not quite that simple. You need to make sure that all three angles work to give you 180. Um, so that's it for this, uh, this question, I think. And I, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions.